Hey, y'all, you know me. So you probably thought this would be about my GOT7 bias, eh? I mean, he's currently the reigning bias to knock the incomparable T.O.P. off his block, but nope, this isn't for him. Or you might think I'm crossing over to the dark side. Don't put the camera up. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Help! I like the way it sounds. Be like this. Woo! Stop! 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 <laughs> God! Oh! Oh! Just put Jackson on the screen so I can just please. But come on now, all I got seven, regardless of your main bias, know that JB is daddy. Could this be about my smiling sunshine, Young J? Of course not. This isn't about my got seven bias list. This is about the one you didn't expect to do damage. This is about the one you wish didn't have you breaking a sweat. This is about. This baby, no he out here for blood this year. I'ma need it to stop. Stop him. Stop him before he slays again. GOT7 is one of my most favorite groups, and since their January 2014 debut, I've rolled with the group in stellar fangirl style. I just, you know, ignored the Magnate line quite a bit because of their age <clears throat> and mine. And mine, I know I'm a Nuna fan, gosh. As much as the young men have evolved since debut, one can no longer ignore that the Magnate line is looking mighty fine, especially you, Yum. Born November 17th, 1997. Oh my God, 1997? 97, Jesus, Lord. <clears throat> okay, now where was I? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Kim Yu Gyum is out to backhand your whole bias list with his six foot frame this year. Seriously, here are three reasons why Yu Gyum is a bias list ruiner. Number one, his gaze. You know that part, and if you do at the 44 second mark. <laughs> <clears throat> Ain't nobody tell him to do that. And then he go and do it again at the 55 second mark. It's uncomfortable seeing a baby face grow into a man's face, but clearly they all gotta do it. Number two, his dancing. Would you look at him? If you could stop him from thrusting stuff and rolling and pop locking it, I'ma need him to back up. I'm overwhelmed. This is too much. Number three, his sass. Yu-Gi-Oh knows he is loved by his GOT7 brothers, but boy can he push their buttons like nobody's business. From pushing around Mark and the other members to having his life a mere choke out away from Junior losing it, Yu-Gi-Oh toughs it out with the guys with no shame. And don't even get him started with snarky remarks to JB and Junior, especially Junior. <laughs> Listen you, you might have pulled on our heartstrings back in real GOT7 season one when the guys pranked you, but I know better. I see through it all, and I'm proud of what I'm seeing. I wonder who will be next on the lives will be ruined list. Bye, y'all.